Hello beautiful people, how are you doing? I hope that you're all doing good. Welcome to the third Science Live video for this semester. And in the semester we're talking about plants, the ways they feed, the things they need, and the process through which they go in order to make their food. Let's remember together the different patterns of nutrition in plants. There are three different ways that plants use or follow in order to get the energy they need from food. I will start talking about the first way, which is for green plants. Green plants are considered as autotrophs or producers since they produce their own food. These plants take carbon dioxide from the air, water from the soil, and sunlight energy. They use all of these things to cook their food, which is a kind of sugar. Second pattern of nutrition is for symbiotic plants. These plants miss something or need the help of other organisms, so they go and enter in spe special relationships. There are three types of relationships. I will start with the first one, and I will take the example of lichen. The lichen is a symbiotic plant that is formed by an alga and a fungus. In this case, the, the fungus gives the alga the water and the minerals it needs, and the alga cooks the food and gives some of the food to the fungus. So the alga is happy for getting water and minerals, and the fungus is happy also for getting the food it needs. Both organisms are happy. What do we call this relationship? Mutualism. Excellent. What about the orchids and the trees? Orchids use the trees as a um, habitat, as a house, as a shelter. They provide, they pro profit from the um, environment provided by the trees. So, orchids are happy. But in this case, trees do not care if the orchids were here or no. They get nothing from this relationship. They are neither helped nor harmed. Nothing happens to the trees. So, this is commensalism. When one organism benefits and the second one isn't affected at all. What about the last type of relationships? I will take here the example of the mistletoe and the trees. As you know, the mistletoe plant is a plant that goes, that goes through photosynthesis, but the food that it makes isn't enough. So it needs to steal others' food. In this case, the mistletoe is happy. It, it, it is getting the food that it needs. The trees are not happy. There is someone stealing their food. This is what we call parasitism. The mistletoe is the parasite, the tree is the host. Last, last pattern of nutrition is for carnivorous plants. Carnivorous, most carnivorous plants go through photosynthesis, but the food that they make, that make isn't enough. So they need another way to get food. They consume insects or animals as you can see in the pictures. Let me talk in details about green plants. Green plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air through small openings found in the back surface of the leaf called stomata. They absorb water from the soil with the help of their roots. And the sunlight energy is trapped with the help of the chlorophyll found in the leaves. Carbon dioxide and water are combined together with the help of the sunlight energy to produce a kind of food, which is the sugar in here, and release oxygen to the so now we're talking about needs of plants. What do green plants need to grow? I'll go again. 
Plants take carbon dioxide from the air through small openings found in their leaves called the stomata. They take water and they use the sunlight energy to cook a kind of food which is the sugar. Let's write all of these into an equation. Carbon dioxide. How do we write carbon dioxide in symbols? C O 2 plus water H 2 O will give when we put them together in the presence of sunlight energy we will get sugar and oxygen O2 so CO2 which is the carbon dioxide gas plus H2O which is the water will give together in the presence of the sunlight energy sugar and oxygen this oxygen gas is released is removed from the body structure or the the plants the plant structure or the plant's body through the stomata also the stomata is a product of photosynthesis and it is released by the plant this food making process is called photo Synthesis. Carbon dioxide with water in the presence of sunlight energy will form glucose and will release oxygen. So this is the photosynthesis word equation. Carbon dioxide plus water will give in the presence of sunlight energy, sugar, and oxygen. The oxygen will be released to the outside. Let me now write the photosynthesis symbols equation. CO2. This is the way we write carbon dioxide in science. Plus H2O. will give in the presence of sunlight energy sugar and release oxygen gas to the outside, O2. Sunlight energy is needed for photosynthesis. This food making process cannot happen if the energy needed to make it isn't here. So this process does not happen at night. At night, the plant doesn't um, um, take in carbon dioxide, it stops the food making process going in it. So, what do, what do you need to know? You need to know the definition of the term photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is Food making process, does it happen in all plants? No, it does not. This process happens only in green plants since chlorophyll is needed to trap sunlight energy. Without chlorophyll, the photosynthesis process cannot happen. So non-green plants don't go through photosynthesis. And also, this process does not happen at night since since there is no sunlight um, at night. So what's photosynthesis? It's the food making process that green plants go through. 
how plants make their own food actually this happens in different steps plants first catch sunlight energy for the help with the chlorophyll found in uh, its leaves the leaves take in carbon dioxide through the stomata the small holes found in the back surface of the leaf the plant absorbs water from the soil and the plant uses the energy from the sun to put together the water and the carbon dioxide in order to produce sugar which is a kind of uh, to produce food which is a kind of sugar and to release um, oxygen there is something that I forgot to mention every plant needs a sufficient amount of minerals minerals like iron phosphorus calcium are needed for a complete uh, for a plant to complete the growth so if a plant misses one or two minerals it will not grow healthy these minerals do not enter directly in photosynthesis but they are needed by the plant to make fruits, to grow taller, to make seeds. Uh, so minerals have different functions in a uh, plant's life, but they aren't part of the food making process. And as you can see here, we have the photosynthesis and symbols equation. Carbon dioxide with water produces this sugar and release oxygen. There is no need to memorize this. It's easy, but there is no need to memorize it. You can simply write sugar. And we're done for today. See you in the Zoom live session. If you have any questions, prepare them, and I will be ready to answer. Love you. Bye-bye.